All right, back in the server again. Gonna do some more upgrades. This is the Tesla M40 I bought. I'm a little concerned whether it'll work or not because it came with some shipping damage. Um, also, I think it's might have seen some abuse because there's some scratches on it. I wouldn't be so concerned about the scratches, but this one's fairly deep, and then one of the faceplate screws is busted off. So I don't know what happened there. I need to double check in the bag a little more closely, but I didn't see the head of the screw that's missing. The Tesla K80 has been working good. My uh, really sad looking cable. <laughs> it uh, hasn't caught fire, so woo. I will be replacing that with a custom made one once uh, I get around to it. Although I am considering uh, selling this card. I don't know yet. Um, it, it's done its job nicely, but I kind of would like to put something more powerful in there, something more gaming oriented. But, well, this uh, one card here was a GTX 645, which basically was not even worth putting in here, I found out, at least compared to the Tesla. It, uh, at the time, it was the highest, uh, benchmarking card I had that would fit in the server. This little dust cover here is not important other than if um, you're not running a dual CPU configuration but I'm running two CPUs in this server so I don't need to worry about that. And I have already unplugged the server. As I mentioned in my video where I've made some of these uh, cables they need to go in a specific way. I did put some labels on it with some just painter's tape, but I'm definitely going to visually look at it as well and remind myself that the labels are correct. I'm not sure how the routing of this cable is going to go. Oh, it's a tight fit. I guess I'm just going to stick it like that and then stick the card in there and hope for the best. Ooh. Trying to do this around my camera. I think I'm going to change my angle. <laughs> I'm going to do an angle that's a little better for my use. Might not be quite as pretty looking. There we go. Mm, I have a bad feeling that I can't do this without pulling the uh, third riser out of the way. Oh, I'm being dumb. That is slot. Slot cover in place. That's not helping me any. There's still something I'm fighting against. I don't know what. Ooh, maybe? Nope. Ah, that's annoying. Well, it looks like I have to take this out. Which means lots more steps. Oops. There we go. That's definitely something to keep in mind, I guess. If um, you're going to install one of these cards, put it in riser 2 first. I put it, I put this one in riser 3 because I was being lazy. <laughs> and it didn't pay off, unfortunately. But, that is okay. Lesson learned. Now, hopefully... Boy. Still, it's just tricky. Looks like I'm hitting on the support here. Oh! This card is taller, I think, than my... No, it's the same height. Well, that might be a problem. I might force my hand to sell the K80 if, uh, there's gotta be a way to get that in there. Oh, there we go. Just gotta get the right angle. Maybe? Jeez. I wonder if I can go under? No. 
Hmm. It worked if we went like this. Oh, there we go. I kind of have to uh, put the zoom in here, actually. Give it a shot. So it looks like to get this card in, you have on the riser two. You have to put it under the slot, then pull it back, lift it up, and then try to fight to align it with the slot. I got something in my way. But that is just not easy. All right, it's in. Well, <laughs> that was exciting. This uh, M40 did not come with the uh, extended support bracket. Uh-oh. Forgot about that. Did I have to? No, I did have to modify this one. That's something I have to keep in mind. So on my other cable, not in frame, my other cable, the 8-pin uh, connector is down the middle. On this one, it's a 4 plus 4. So the little locking clips are in the wrong spot. They're too wide for my card. Oh, nuts. Well, I guess that does solve the keying issues because... If, if I use this connector on the riser side of things, then I'm going to know where it belongs so I can't plug it into the Tesla. But it also means I have the hassle of having to trim this down a bit. So I think I'm going to pause the video and come back with a fixed connector. Alright, I'm back. I don't think the camera's going to focus. There we go. I had to kind of chisel it with a uh, razor blade. Now I know when I'm making these what uh, connectors to pick because I do know that the uh, standard 8-pin connectors that aren't these 4 plus 4 ones have just a normal tab. And then I'll use the uh, 4 plus 4 ones for the riser side of things when I make these. But I, yep, double check, plug this back into the riser, fish that under the way I want it. be an expert at putting these cards in at this rate. Hopefully I don't find any other issues. Looks like cable positioning is not quite right. Ooh. Well, I'm assuming this is a handy dandy cable guide. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. This could be nice. Maybe it lined up properly. Actually, change of heart. I don't have any immediate plans of getting rid of the K80, so I'm going to put the K80 in this side. Assuming, yeah, let's support that. This video was supposed to be about my M40. <laughs> K80's getting some of the spotlight though. Alright, well, the K80 will be running on my fancy custom made card or cable now. Stuff permitting, of course. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I do want the cable to route this way. Perfect, perfect. I'm real happy with that. My uh, server and my virtual machines aren't going to be happy because now everything's going to have to relearn its place in the world. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, put in the other riser. Lock that beast down. Oops. I did not know that I did that. That's kind of nice. Alright. 
M40. We go on riser three. Just like that. No, that's in place. This one does not have the little extension support, so it will not be uh, needing that. Oh, this one's upside down compared to the, how the other one was. Weird. seated. I was going to put a USB 3.0 card in there, but I don't have any low profile ones right now. It makes me kind of sad. I think I sold them all. <laughs> but everything looks good. I don't see anything where it doesn't belong. Time to see if the magic smoke comes out. The best part. Oh, can't reach the power button with the camera in the way. There we go. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, following this, I will put up a clip of me uh, benchmarking the M40. Not that that's too exciting, but I'm curious to see how it does on heaven. So, yeah, that'll be the next clip.